So welcome to another Quick Tip Thursday. And today I'm here to show you how to create that uh, vision blur effect. Uh, like if you are walking and you drank a little bit too much and you, your vision is getting blurry and coming back. So I decided to create this video because um, one of my friends asked me if I could help him to create that effect for one of his uh, short uh, videos. I said yes, and why not share it with you? So let's jump in the computer and let me show you how you can create it also. So here we are inside of the edit page and I already have here in the timeline a clip of a POV of a person walking in the street. As you can see, it's a little bit shaky, so it's ideal. So let's create the effect. So with the clip select, go to the Fusion page. And here inside of the Fusion page, we have the media in and the media out. With the media in selected, come here to the blur and add it to our pipeline. And now let's create the effect in the blur. I'm going to just change here the blur size and the, I'm going to unlock the X and Y because I only want to have a blur on the X axis. So I'm going to increase it like this, so around 10. And the other parameters, I won't change it. Probably the blend will be changed after we create the effect. Now let's, as you can see, we have always blur and we don't want that. So let's create the movement of the blur. So the blur coming and going. So over the X blur size, right click and modify with and come to the last option where it says shake. Now let's go to the modifiers and in the modifiers we have the random seed. If it's more random or not, I want it to go to all the way up. The smoothness, I want to leave it and I'm going to come here to the minimum. I'm going to leave it at zero and the max I'm going to put it at 10. So I want the blurriness to go from zero to 10 and let's play it. Let's see. So it's going up and down. Let's go come here to the tools. And now here you can watch the value going up and down. So it's creating that effect that we want. So probably is a little bit too fast. So let's come here to the smoothness and let's add a little bit of smoothness. And so probably I'm going to add a little bit more of blur. So I think it's coming and going as we want. And of course, you can adjust all the the settings over here in the tools and in the modifier. So as you can see, it's very easy to create that effect. Of course, you have to tweak all the parameters, but in the end, it's very easy to create. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video. Until there, bye.